of electronegativity bond polarity and also dipole moment. In this um, topic or in this part 4, we are going to identify or how to identify the dipole moment. Right. So what is dipole moment? Dipole moment is the magnitude okay, of the polarity uh, that can be expressed in terms of the dipole moment. Okay, so what is magnitude? Magnitude is usually, other than that, we call it as size. Okay, alright. So, uh, dipole is actually a molecule that electrically asymmetrical, tak sama. Okay, causing it to be oppositely charged at two points. Okay, and the dipole can be written as here like this, positive and also ne. Negative. Usually, this is happen. Okay, this uh, or we can determine the dipole moment based on the polar and also non-polar covalent molecule. Alright. So, uh, usually we use an arrow to represent a charge at, or sorry to represent a dipole moment. Okay. Uh, this arrow point to the negative charge center with uh, the tail of the arrow. Okay. Uh, indicating the positive center of the charge and usually we write it down from positive to the ne negative okay and uh, this dipole moment has a magnitude and also a direction okay then uh, the magnitude of polarity is expressed in terms of the dipole moment we have a difference between positive and also negative and this is where we have the center of the charge okay and this is the symbol of the dipole. Okay, you write it down as the positive to the negative arrow here and also a line here. Okay, alright, and this is the um, how to determine the dipole moment the amount of charge times the distance between char charges. Okay, and from here. Uh, 1 d by or d is 3.336 times 10 to the power of negative 3 coulomb meter okay and a molecule um, containing different kinds of atoms may or may not be polar depending on its shape okay but uh, here we have one example of um, carbon dioxide here even though the carbon dioxide, we have two types of or two elements, two different elements, okay. But this carbon dioxide is considered as a non-polar. It is a non-polar um, compound. Why? Okay. Because, alright, as you can see from this diagram, from this diagram here, carbon oxygen dipoles cancel each other, okay. Because from here, okay, this is the positive, this is the negative, okay, and we have another oxygen here, also negative, from the carbon here is positive, okay, these two, what we call similar environment, in this carbon dioxide cancel each other and this carbon dioxide become a non-polar. Okay, so first thing is you need to uh, be able to draw the Lewis structure of a compound, okay, or molecule, alright. So, uh, other than that, you can um, uh, calculate the electronegativity difference between carbon and also oxygen, okay, between carbon and this oxygen, for example, this is first one, this is the second one. Carbon is 2.5 while for the oxygen is 3.5, okay. So, you will get 1.0, okay. This is 1.0 while this is 1.0. 1, 1 minus 1, you will get Z, 0. So, what happened when you have the electronegativity difference is 0, this carbon dioxide is actually a non-polar, okay. Right. So, uh, the overall dipole moment of a molecule is also the vector sum of dipole moments of individual uh, bonds and also lone pairs. So, you need to check the presence of lone pairs in order to determine the polarity of a compound. Ok. 
Okay. Here, in this case, we have boron trifluoride and also CCL4, tetrachloromethane. This, where we have the net dipole moment is zero because they are cancelling each other. Boron to fluorine, positive to negative, boron to fluorine and also here. And also carbon to chloride. Okay. These two compounds are, uh, have three and also four bonds okay, surrounding the boron and also carbon where they are cancelling each other and they will become a non-polar molecule. Other than that, okay, another example here, we have uh, SO3. Okay, this is SO3. 2 minus Okay, guys, so this is charge negative 2. Okay, please include the negative 2 here. Alright, then it is also cancelling each other. It's similar to the boron trifluoride here. Okay, uh, this is also non-polar. But, in this case, okay, we have SO2. Okay, without no charge. But, when you draw the Lewis structure of this SO2, we have one lone pair. Okay. Usually, one lone, uh, lone pair will give you higher energy compared to other, compared to the others. Okay, so what happened here? Even though the SO here and also SO here are cancelling each other, but we have one lone pair where it it is actually have higher energy, so they cannot cancel each other and they have the difference in electronegativity. So what happened? This SO two will become a polar com compound or, or polar mo molecule. Alright, so another example that we have here is sulfur hexafluoride. This is um, also a non-polar because there are the bond, the six bonds here are cancelling each other. Okay, other than that, I have the XEF4. Okay, so you need to draw the Lewis structure. This is lone pair. Okay, uh, the Xenon itself has two lone pairs, okay, surrounding by the fluorine here. Dipole moments of the two lone pairs point in opposite direction. So, because they are also cancelling each other, so this compound is actually a non-polar. And then we have uh, C2H4, okay, alright, because they are having the same uh, environment between the carbon here. And this carbon, we have first carbon and second carbon. And this compound can be considered as uh, symmetrical. So, this is also a non-polar. Alright. So, uh, other than that, I have a few examples here in this slide. Okay. We have a few shapes or a few geometry of the molecules, of non-polar molecules. So, you can see why they can be considered as non-polar molecules because uh, they have the same environment they have uh, they cancel each other all right so these two condition all right and then uh, what about the polar molecules okay i have a few here few geometries v shape or we call it as band the trigonal pyramidal and also tetrahedral okay um in this case okay why they are actually polar molecules first thing is we have um, um, dipole moment here h2o we have two okay long pair all right and then um, they are not actually cancelling each other because um, the condition here the long pair is not from top top and also bottom they are side to side and then um, we have trigonal pyramidal of ammonia and H3. This is also we have one lone pair here. Okay. While for the this one, this is hydrogen, different, different uh, elements in this compound. So this cannot cancel each other, and they all of these three example are polar molecules. All right. So uh, another examples here. We have. Uh, CCL4 tetrachloromethane okay 
Eh, tetrachloro. CCL4, tetrachloro. Tetrachloro methane. CCL4. Hmm. Alright, okay, start balik. So here we have CCL4, alright. The C and also CL bond is polar, but CCL4 molecule is non-polar. Why? Because all these four bonds are cancelling are cancelling each other. So when they cancelling each other, this compound will or this molecule will become a non-polar. Polar. Okay. So the question asks you why and explain. Okay. The solution here first you can draw the um, Lewis structure, and second one you can calculate the difference in electro ne negativity. So guys, I uh, here we have a question here. Which of the following molecules have a dipole moment? H2O, right? It is actually a polar molecule. Okay. All right, and then um, CO2 non-polar. They are cancelling each other. Okay, and then we have um, SO2. Okay. This is a non-polar because we have a lone pair here, right? Dipole moment and polar molecule. And CH4, this is methane. Also a non-polar molecule because they are cancelling each other. And they have no dipole mo moment. Okay, most of the time polar molecule, they will, uh, polar molecules, they will, they will have dipole mo moment. Okay, guys, so um, that's all for the part 4. I hope you guys enjoy my video and please like, comment and also subscribe. So, I'll see you guys in the next topic. Bye!